Yo, 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 it's the Xbox Ghost Kaleidoscope With some unique news and news for the YouTubers here on YouTube Now guess what ladies and gentlemen, this shit has done hit the fan and started spraying in every fucking direction Stinking up the whole fucking gaming community people Word up man, no, no joke Um, and, and it's a trip yo it has to do with another Microsoft exclusive, you know what I'm saying? That's basically exclusive to the Xbox platform, or at least the Xbox console. And it's also on Windows 10 PC. Alright, so, you know, it's basically another Microsoft title. And it's getting dumped on in the media like a motherfucker. Alright, we already seen this shit coming. You know what I'm saying? Even before the game came out. And as a matter of fact, the game, this the, the major complaint is that it has glitches, right? The game has glitches. Okay. Well, name me one. One open world game that has not had glitches. Anywhere from Assassin's Creed, Grand Theft Auto, Saints Row, Red Dead Redemption, even games like Horizon Zero Dawn. All right. There are even videos online on YouTube, on YouTube people, that shows that God of War even had glitches. I never came across any, but I'm just saying. There are videos out there, people. Okay. So. Hmm. Are the glitches really that bad? I don't know. I can't really say because I haven't played the game yet. I'm hoping to play the game now tomorrow. And I do have quite a few friends on my friends list. And none of them have actually said anything about any glitches. You know what I'm saying? You know, maybe they've been staying quiet. I don't know. But <laughs> I'm going to find out tomorrow. That's for sure. Now, there was one person last night that did say something about a glitch. But then he kept playing like nothing. I guess it wasn't a game-breaking glitch. Hmm. Either way, though, I just know that, you know, people in the media, they tend to fucking blow shit out of proportions, all right? Because y'all yeah, saw how much they took a crap on Sea of Thieves, right? I mean, they are Sea of Thieves and all this stuff. The game is corny. There's nothing to the game. That, that it seems like it's a game preview game. Diabetic gaming. But yet... 2.5 million players later and the game is a fucking success story. Why? Because it's a game that has emergent gameplay people. Right? I guess these gamers don't understand what emergent gameplay is. I guess they've never played games like H1Z1, Ark Survival of All, or even Warcraft, World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft for the first three months when it came out there wasn't much there. <laughs> These are games that they normally keep adding things to them because they're games that require an online component. These aren't single player based games, people. These aren't scripted events, all right? If something's scripted, you already know what you're gonna get from point A to point B. So you can make point A to point B look incredible. But if you don't know what's gonna happen from point A to point B, then that's where it comes becomes a little bit difficult, right? Because it's emergent don't know how events are going to unfold <laughs> but either way though man i'm excited for the game all right i'm hoping to actually get my hands on it tomorrow um everybody else y'all could actually leave your comments down below and watch out what y'all think about the game if you've actually played the game yet I, as i said i haven't played it but i'm hoping by tomorrow and me well i'm gonna sign off saying still get the game man <laughs> and there it is clear as motherfucking day yo and then i'm out peace bro because really yo <laughs> i give a fuck about a review man <laughs> dude if i get if i gave a shit about reviews i guess i wouldn't be gaming huh either way i'm out